So we're flying through the Manning Pass. We just crossed over Manning Airport. We've got information, ATIS uh, Echo at uh, Palm Springs. And we're going to start this whole thing by calling SoCal, giving them our position, our destination, and tell them that we have Echo. There's two schools that thought you could do this, uh, get their attention, say VFR request, then come back and do the back and forth and tell them where you're going and all that. Or uh, I, I think they prefer here uh, to that you just give them all that information in a burst real quick. Uh, the hardest thing you're going to have to do is get through on the frequency when it's really busy. Uh, middays, mid-morning, uh, it gets pretty busy out here at SoCal. They used to have two split frequencies for SoCal, but right now it's all 135.27. We've got our frequencies up. Towers on standby on the first radio. We've already got ATIS on the second one. We've got ground on standby on the second radio. And we're going to give them a call, give them our position, and then they're going to give us a discrete squat code so they could ID us. And then pretty quickly, they're going to either vector us to the airport or simply hand us off over to tower. As we do this, we want to continue to fly the airplane at all times. So I'm going to start a nice little descent now and start to bring the power back. Got the cowl flaps closed. We'll turn the radio up. Got a little break there in communication. Give them a call. And we are 15 west. SoCal, Skylight 5153 Golfs, 15 west of Palm Springs, landing Palm Springs with Echo. Skylight 5153 Golf, SoCal approach, squad 0214. 0214, 5153 Golf. Controller change there. 0214 puts it up there. He did not ask me to ident, so I'm not going to. There's a lot of terrain around here, and their radar doesn't go through the mountains. So he. 5153 Golf, your radar contact. One zero miles northwest of the Palm Springs Airport at 5,200 feet. The Palm Springs altimeter is 29er and 9er 3. Check, 53 Golf. So he's just verify three golf maintain VFR at or above three thousand five hundred. Navigate over Highway 111 for left traffic. Over 111 for left traffic at or above three thousand five hundred. Five hundred five three golf. So I put 3,600 in there just in case we get into some up and down drafts. And basically what they're doing is putting me on left traffic, even though the airport has right traffic. We're on this side of the field. It's a small airplane. And from here, it looks like that might be a problem because the terrain is real close to the airport. But it's not. You've got room to navigate. Just keep in mind, you can get into some wicked up and down drafts here if you fly right over that terrain or close to it. So we'll keep our descent going. Got a 1,200 feet to go, and they generally keep you at or above 3,000 or 3,500 until they hand you over to tower. When they do hand you over, be sure you tell them that. If you're restricted above 3,500 like we are, you're still restricted above 3,500. This tells me we've got 1,000 feet to go. Uh, you're still restricted even when you go over to tower until they tell you otherwise. So I'm flying this on the autopilot now. I have it on heading. It does a pretty good job of maintaining that. This is the 10, and then the 111 is the road that branches off right here where we are directly under us. And you can even see that on your sectional or four flight. 4953 Golf, contact Palm Springs Tower, 119.7. Good morning. Going to Tower, 53 Golf, thanks. So we'll listen for a second. We'll give them a call. Uh, you want to tell Tower where you're parking because they want to know which uh, runway that they're going to put you on. So whether it's the left if you're going to Signature or the right if you're going over to Atlantic. So we'll tell them that when we give them a call. Palm Springs Tower, Skyline 5153 Golf, 3,600 restricted above 3,500 parking at the West T Hangers. Skyline 5153 Golf, Palm Springs Tower, welcome back to Send Unrestricted. Runway 31 left, clear to land. Traffic departing runway 31 left, fire arrival citation. Clear to land, 31 left, 53 Golf, descend unrestricted. We're going to speed up that descent a little bit. We've still got 1,800 feet to get down to TPA. And that's essentially all there is to it. We can put ground on the standby if we want, so we can keep it on this radio and not have to switch. Just be sure you don't do the flip-flop if you don't mean to. Put our first notch of flaps in, continue to bring the prop forward. All right, so we're at Palm Springs. We're on the ground. We're at the West T Hangers. We're going to call ground because it said on ATIS to call ground, not clearance delivery, for all VFR and IFR departures. Basically, he's going to want to know 
who we are, where we are, where we're going to go, and what our plan is to get out of here. So we're going to tell them we're going to Gillespie. I jot this down ahead of time so I don't have to memorize a lot of this. The type of aircraft we are, we're a C-182 slant golf. Where we are at the West T hangars, where we're going, Gillespie via Banning, because we're not going to go uh, via Thermal. Our cruise altitude will be 6,500. And the one little thing I'm going to add is they're landing and departing runways 31 left and right. We're right at the center of 31 left, so I'm going to ask for an intersection departure, intersection golf. And we just got ATIS, which is Information Hotel. So let's give them a call. We've got ground on this uh, radio and tower ready to flip-flop on the next. And here we go. We'll ask for a VFR request. Palm Springs ground. Skyline 515 Golf VFR request. Skyline 515 uh, 3 Golf Palm Springs ground. 5153 Golf says C182 Slant Golf. We're at the West T Hangers. We're going to Gillespie via Banning 6500. Request 31 left intersection golf departure with information hotel. Skyline 53 Golf, runway 31 left at Golf. Taxi via Golf. 31 left intersection golf via Golf. 5153 Golf. Skyline 53 Golf, uh, departure frequency 135.27. Squawk 5367. 135.27 and 5367 for 5153 Golf. As I'm taxiing, he's given me the squawk code. Let's do 13527. Enter. So we've got SoCal ready to flip flop. We've got our 6500 and our squawk code is 5367. 5367 comes up here. And we're going to do this visual straight out through the Banning Pass. Which, five one five three Golf. Follow Highway 111. Maintain VFR at or below 3,000. Caution Wake Turbulence for departed uh, Learjet. Runway 31 left at Golf. Clear for takeoff. Clear for takeoff. 31 left intersection Golf. We'll follow 111. Stay below 3,000. 5153 Golf. 400 feet. We'll start a turn to the left. He wants us to follow the 111. Which is right over here. It's that road that takes you out of town, and it goes right along the foothills. If you start a turn at about 900 feet, just do a standard rate turn. It'll take you right over here, almost to the edge of their airspace. And in a couple hundred feet here, it'll hand me off to SoCal. Skyline 53 Golf, contact SoCal departure. Have a good flight. Go to SoCal 53 Golf, thanks. SoCal, Skyline 5053 Golf, 1,400, climbing 3,000. Skyline 5153 Golf, so cut apart to your better contact. Resume on navigation. What's your destination? We're going to Gillespie. Resume on nav. Five to go. And that's it. So at some point when you get into the Banning Pass, they're going to lose you on radar, and they're going to tell you to switch over to 134.0 on the other side, essentially when you're west of Banning Airport.